this lamp always sort of looks like it's a giant hat just floating above my head. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I thought I just wanted to casually sit down and talk you through my inspiration for my spring capsule 2020. Um, I know it's a bit early as per usual. I'm usually pretty early with my capsule series. I don't know, I sort of like to be early with these videos both to give you some inspiration so you have a lot of time thinking about how you want your own capsule wardrobe to look like and also just because usually by the end of a capsule wardrobe season, especially the winter season, I'm just so ready to move on. Um, I wouldn't say that I am necessarily tired of my winter wardrobe but I'm definitely tired of this weather and I'm looking so much forward to spring and for warmer weather and to be reunited with some of my spring favorites. So that is what today's video is going to be all about. I'm going to be showing you my inspiration for the coming season and just some thoughts on the winter season that we just went through and all the usual stuff pretty much. So I hope this will provide you with a lot of inspiration when you start prepping your own spring capsule wardrobe basically. So let's get into the video. So let's start with a quick look back at the winter season that we just went through. When it comes to my wardrobe, it pretty much looked a lot like my autumn capsule wardrobe, but I just added a few more warm jumpers and a few more warm coats to the whole thing and it worked out pretty well. I should say though that we've had one of the most wet and rainy winters I think ever in Denmark. I think they said, um, like the Weather Forecasting Institute said, that this has been one of the warmest winters in many, many years. Like decades what will usually fall as snow has just been falling like rain so it's been so wet so slippery everywhere there's just been a lot of like mud and puddles and yeah it's just been a really really wet winter so my outfits have been more practical and chic I would say over the winter season um, most days anyway obviously when I'm going to the office or if I'm going to some sort of an event I still like dressing up and then just put on a good practical layer and then wear all the chicness underneath all the practical layers that's one of the reasons I really look forward to spring so I can just like throw on a light jacket like a blazer or a biker jacket denim jacket whatever on top of a t-shirt or a jumper and then I'm good to go I can let the whole outfit just do the talking instead of being bundled up to the nines we also moved into this lovely house as many of you probably already know we've been living here for around five months now and we're not done yet um especially the first like three months i wore work clothes every single day so i wasn't really able to wear all of my favorite everyday uniforms because i was working in the house a lot which was fine you know and we've been taking a break for some time now and we're probably gonna hire some people to help us move along with the living room so speaking of everyday outfits and work clothes and all that i think i will have a lot less days wearing work clothes now so I can wear all of my favorite normal everyday wear again. Quickly going back to that whole thing about this really wet and warm winter that we're having I think this is makes me think a lot about climate change and I think that you know again just shows how important it is to talk about sustainability especially if you're someone who loves fashion like me and really try to come up with creative ways that you can consume fashion and enjoy fashion in ways that are not destroying our planet basically and again that's why I I love the capsule wardrobe system because not only has it taught me to find the core of my style and really make peace with myself and my wardrobe but it's really like it's opened my mind to sustainability in general and a more slow lifestyle so I just really want to highlight that again since you know climate change is something we all we're all talking about at the moment and the weather all over the world has really shown that we all need to change so just wanted to put that out there when this video goes live, I will actually be attending my very first lesson in becoming a certified style coach. I have booked myself a, a self-paid course in Copenhagen to become a certified style coach. Um, my content has always very much been just like a product of my own style and my own way of doing things. But I really want to provide you guys with some content that can help you as an individual discovering your own personal style, even if it's not the same as my style. Um, so that's why I'm becoming a certified style coach. I want to connect more with you guys. I want to offer one-on-one -on -one styling lessons at least for my danish audience and i'm going to be offering online courses on a patreon page really soon and i'll of course keep you guys updated when it goes live but i'm hoping that it will go live this summer when i'm done with the education and when i can finally call myself a certified style coach i'm so excited i hope it will provide you guys with all of the help and the answers that you've been missing all along basically so really excited about that 
I have a lot of guides already on my blog, um, a lot of like find your style guides and how to build capsule wardrobes, how to build a colorful capsule wardrobe, things like that. But I really want to cut even further to the bone. I think that's enough blabbering for now. I think we should get in the mood for spring. Let's have a look at the inspiration, like the things and the looks that I'm inspired by this coming season. So I have my computer down here and I'm just gonna open my Pinterest profile because I am a Pinterest addict, if you don't already know. I have a lot of boards in there and every season I like to collect inspiration. Um, so I both have an autumn winter inspiration board and I also have a spring summer inspiration board. And it's not like specific for 2020 or for a specific like year or anything, I just, put everything that I'm inspired by onto these boards as we go along. So I've been pinning some new outfits lately. And um, if you go onto my spring summer inspiration board, you'll quickly see that I'm really drawn to this um, dress over jeans look at the moment, especially if you put on like a biker jacket or a blazer on top of that as well. I love that whole layered look. And I, even though I don't wear dresses that much because I sometimes feel a little bit too feminine, I think styling wise is really about finding some items you can add to a look like that to make it more your style, if that makes sense. So I always like to add some sort of an element that's a bit more casual and a bit more edgy. And I just feel like if you add a biker jacket, there's that edginess. If you add a pair of jeans, there's that casual element to the look as well. So really playing around with those layers is something that I'm super inspired by at the moment. We'll see as we get into the spring season if it's something I actually dare to do. Um, some of you might remember that I recently went to Berlin. Um, I have this series on my channel and I do like eco travel guides that I put up on my blog. And um, I've done one for Copenhagen, I've done one for London, and then I recently did one for Berlin as well. And um, when I was in Berlin, I visited a bunch of great like secondhand and vintage stores and I found this perfect tea dress, like a navy blue tea dress with a white flower print all over it. And then it has buttons all the way down the front. And usually this is probably something a bit too feminine for me. Um, but at the same time, it's such a staple. It's so classic and it's something that I've been eyeing out for years. And I think sometimes when it comes to personal style, it's also about like trying something new. Like if it's something you really like, but you don't necessarily feel comfortable right away, it's, it's about, you know, really trying, you know, giving it a shot and play around with your style. I'm not saying that you should compromise with who you are and wear something that's totally not you, but if it's something you can sort of see yourself wearing, but you just need to get over this bump of you saying that, well, I don't wear dresses, but maybe you could wear dresses. So I bought that dress and I intend to wear it over jeans through the spring season and then wear it as it is through the summer season to get all the wear out of it that I possibly can. And I love that dress. I actually feel amazing in it and I can't wait to wear it. So that's why I kind of want to incorporate it into my spring capsule, even though it's not that warm yet by April, um, not for bare legs anyway. Then you can probably also see that I have saved some images with colorful blazers. And if you are a longtime follower, you probably know that one of my favorite everyday uniforms is a pair of jeans, a boot or a sneaker, white t-shirt and then a blazer. That's a look that I can always count on, whether that being for a daily look or for an evening night out with a pair of cute pumps and then a lot of his accessories, a red lip or something like that. I love that look and I truly feel like myself when I'm wearing something like that. So I've always tried to have different blazers in my wardrobe. So I have some different blazers to choose from. And this season I've been really keen on adding a more colorful blazer to my wardrobe. I know, shocking. The girl who doesn't wear colors wants to wear color. Um, in my defense, the one that I've been looking for is more like a dusty blue or like a baby blue color um, because I think it ties in really nice together with this, this monochrome color palette that I have already in my wardrobe. And also I feel like that blue color sort of like denim, even though it's not, if you know what I mean. So it's a very basic color and it's something that is still sort of safe for me. I also have like blue shirts in my wardrobe. I have a light blue linen shirt in like my summer storage that I absolutely love. And I think it really makes my eyes pop. And if I do say so myself, I think it suits me really well. So 
I've been very keen on adding a blue blazer to my wardrobe as well. Um, I just think it looks so cool with a pair of light blue denims and it's just so spring appropriate. I feel like a pastel blue color or maybe even a dusty rose or something like that is so timeless for the spring season and I know I'm just gonna get a lot of wear out of a blazer like that. I have actually already found a blazer like that. I bought it secondhand and I can't wait to show you guys how amazing it looks, but I'll show you that in my part two of this series where I go over the final, you know, the final overview in my entire wardrobe what it looks like and I show you any new additions that I've made to my wardrobe so definitely stay tuned for part two of this video make sure you hit that notification bell so you won't miss out if you scroll further down on my inspiration board here you'll also see again that I'm really drawn to this dress look and then a blazer thrown over I also mentioned in a recent video where I go over some of like the biggest trends for the spring season um, that one of the biggest trends this season is to pair your blazer with a pair of shorts. But I also think that a blazer on top of a dress or a top of a skirt or, you know, anything like that is super, super wearable and I love that look. And it's definitely something I can get on board with again because I feel like sometimes a dress is a little too feminine for me, but it's all about the styling and all about adding those elements that sort of bring the outfit down to earth and makes it more you. Color wise, I'm super inspired by this whole monochromatic color scale like always, but then with some pops of beige and like some neutrals and then this light blue color thrown into the mix. Love it. I just think it's just like a really classic spring color palette in my opinion. I'm even toying with the idea of, of like adding some pops of red because I have a red jumper in my storage. I also have um, that red flannel jacket that I bought in a vintage store in London a couple of years ago and um, really been really been missing those items and really considering adding those to my wardrobe but again it's all about less is more for me if I have too many options I know that there's something that I'm gonna end up not wearing so um, might save those for the autumn season I'm not completely sure yet but in any case I'm so keen on this neutral monochrome color mood with some pops of light blue I think that's just delicious. So moving on to the wish list or sort of like my wardrobe plan, like the idea that I have so far, I've already started working with my wardrobe in Cladwell, trying to like add and replace different items here and there to see how everything looks all together and to see what kind of outfits the app comes up with. I always do this ahead of a season and I always mention this, that this is not sponsored by Cladwell. I've just always loved using that app. And I just think it's a really helpful tool on a day-to-day -day basis when you feel a bit stuck again and you need some outfit inspiration, but also just the of any holidays because you can like make a packing list a visual packing list and in this case you can play around with your coming capsule you know the coming season and just see how everything looks together and before you buy something you can try adding it to your existing wardrobe in the app and see if you are really gonna wear this item before you buy it. There are some other apps on the market as well that are also suitable for Android. Um, I'm pretty sure Stylebook is free and is available for Android as well. So if that's more your thing, then definitely check out that app. Some of the things that I cannot wait to get reunited with that I already have in my storage is the thing like my beige biker jacket that I bought pre-loved on West Yarrow Collective last spring. Another thing I can't wait to be reunited with is my trench coat. It's really like a basic Thing for me I've had this trench coat for a couple of years and I'll never get tired of it I love it my trench coat is from Everlane I think I've had it for three years and it's just a really nice classic color really like crisp fabric and it has all of the classic trench coat details and it suits everything that I have in my wardrobe and the great thing about storing away your items like this especially seasonal items that you know you're gonna wear some other season is that it sort of gets a news value for you. It feels like shopping your own wardrobe and that's one of the main reasons why I'm such a huge fan of the capsule wardrobe system. I'm sure many of you have sometimes looked at a picture of yourself with some sort of an item and just going, oh, I wish I had never parted with that item. And that really just proves that sometimes we just need a break from things, but there's not necessarily anything wrong with this item. I'm also really looking forward to bringing out my beige boots that I also brought pre-loved last spring. And then also I'm really looking forward to wearing my leopard flats. I'm a sucker for leopard print and I've had these flats for I think around four or five years now and 
I love them. So speaking of the wish list or any new additions that I might add to my wardrobe, um, many of you guys know that I'm actually doing a low buy this year, like a low buy challenge. So I've sort of like made a checklist for myself by the start of the year and I'll put it in right here. You can also find it down below so you can check it out yourself if you want to join in on the whole low buy thing. And some of the things that I have allowed myself to do is to swap or rent or buy secondhand. Not excessively because that would still be a waste and that would still make my wardrobe super messy. So it's still really important for me that I consider these purchases and don't shop secondhand with sort of like a fast fashion mindset. It's still really important to me that I buy things that I will actually wear and love. But I'm allowed to do that and then also I'm allowed to other things like replacing basics like socks and undies and other things like that, t-shirts. So that's again one of the reasons why I don't believe in a complete no buy or complete shopping ban. I just don't think it would work for me. Plus I really want to support the brands out there that are really making an effort and really trying to change the entire industry. So it's sort of like a balance that you need to keep up with. All that being said, I did have two items on my wish list for this entire year actually, and they were both for the spring and summer season. One of the items was a blue blazer. I just mentioned before, I've actually already bought that one pre-loved and I cannot wait to show you how it looks. It's amazing. And then I bought that navy blue dress, which was another thing that I have been looking for for a while and then I found one in a vintage store in Berlin, which is amazing. I think there are amazing additions to my existing wardrobe. I think there's going to be a lot of playing around with styling and I cannot wait for the spring season. So that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it got you in the mood for spring, depending on again where in the world you are. I will link every article or app or anything else I might have mentioned in this video, also my inspiration board on Pinterest down below for you so you can go have a look at that right now. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. I cannot wait to share my part two of my spring capsule series. So that's it for now, have a lovely day and I will see you again soon for another video. Bye guys!